from the global resources of ABC News. This is ABC World News with Diane Sawyer. Good evening. Tonight it has begun. What some U.S. troops are calling D-Day in Afghanistan. As we come on the air using their night vision equipment, 8,000 Allied fighters backed by 7,000 support troops are moving in on the Taliban stronghold of Marja. It is the biggest military strike in the history of the eight-year war and the first big test for President Obama's new strategy. A turning point, and our own Miguel Marquez, who is embedded with the Marines, phoned me as the battle began. Miguel, give me a sense of where you are. It is freezing cold. I am in a open desert. I've seen several missile strikes now. Uh, I've also heard a lot of uh, heavy machine gun fire. I'm now seeing what appears to be uh, some sort of anti-aircraft uh, fire, some sort of outgoing fire uh, across the skyline. What about the night vision equipment? There is absolutely no moon out tonight. It doesn't help for, for night scope gear because it's very difficult without just a little bit of light to get anything uh, on camera. There's a lot of concerns out there. We understand that some of the, the insurgents may literally be dug in uh, to bunkers. Uh, the, the IED, there may be thousands of them. They have seen them planting them. Earlier tonight, just a couple of hours ago, uh, came across the radio that three individuals were planting IEDs, and a short time later, a, a Hellfire missile took them out. No doubt in their mind that this is it. This is the turning point, the big gamble. If they can control Marja, they can control uh, the drug trade, essentially. If they can control the drug trade, then they can they can cut the Taliban's money off or a large portion of the Taliban's money off, and and that will hurt in very real ways. This city tonight is surrounded, uh, and those those individuals inside literally have three choices, as the generals have said: they can run, they can fight, or they can die. Godspeed to all of you. Again, Miguel Marquez moving in with the forces tonight, and as he said, so much at stake for both sides in this battle in what has long been one of the most dangerous areas of Afghanistan.